Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 6th episode of Goblin Slayer. And in the last episode, the focus was kind of on a couple of different characters getting to see their little adventure, trying to get back their sword and to not die. Which is nice because that, doing that sort of thing once in a while helps prevent the world from feeling like it kind of revolves, or, you know, revolves around our protagonist. So I do appreciate that sort of thing once in a while, but I am looking forward to getting a bit more into Goblin Slayer's adventure. Uh, epic adventures slaying goblins, of course. I mean, we did get some Goblin Slayer. He just kind of helped with some guild stuff, which which I did enjoy that as well. And I, But I think we can all agree the best thing about that episode was the fact that it opened itself up to a very great meme. Just that one scene with Gollum Slayer leaving and Hero telling him, please don't leave. Just that's a lot of meme potential there and people jumped on that. But anyway, more importantly, we're here for this episode. So let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> I mean, that that initial warning text, I mean, it was pretty on point there. <laughs> But yeah, this is certainly one way to start the episode. I didn't know I was watching Overlord, but... Oh, <laughs> who are you? Okay, she's that kind of character. She's that kind of character, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I guess so. Well, let's go. It's almost like I'm watching a different anime right now. Uh, damn. <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be a bit more of a normal adventure. <laughs> you know, that doesn't involve goblins. Of course she is. I'd be disappointed if she wasn't. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> right. Yeah, cockiness gets you killed in this show. He doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care. Don't you know him by now? More importantly. But yes, that was more of a typical epic quest for, you know, high-level adventures, whereas that's not what this show is about. This show is about the struggle of eliminating goblins from our world, which is the, the real, real importance. I mean, there's plenty of people that are willing to fight against, you know, the Demon King and all that stuff, but... Very few people understand the threat that goblins are. And luckily, Goblin Slayer is one of them. It would just so fade in the way that warning text pops up on the screen saying, This anime may contain disturbing scenes. And it was like right above the, you know, the naked girl against the wall. Just, it was very fitting. Of course, that doesn't disturb me very much because that's just how I roll, but, you know, to a more normal person, it would be disturbing. But I, for one, am looking forward to kill some, killing some goblins. I hope you guys are as well. <laughs> Watertown. I would love to go to Watertown. I love Watertowns. Like, you know, Avatar The Last Airbender, their icy water city. That was, I love that place. It's probably not going to be that cool, but... Yes? Blushing Priestess? <laughs> I know, right? Of course, yeah. Goblins need to be slayed one way or the other. 
Uh, I know, right? That, that's how you should take it. So let's go on an adventure, guys. More like sweet, sweet cheese. <laughs> yes, let's let's go. Too many. <laughs> yes, I know you want to go along too. <laughs> Only been involves slaying goblins. I mean, I'd go on an adventure with her just anywhere, but that's just me. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> it's, where's he? Where, how am I supposed to have fun? <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Oh, already? This could have been riding for like 10 seconds. Not as cool as, you know, it could look, but definitely pretty cool. And I see the scale, so... I wonder if we're going to meet a certain character here. <clears throat> Sounds delicious. Huh, nice. <laughs> I know, right? About something that doesn't involve goblins. Oh. <laughs> A certain cowgirl, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, inside it looks even better. Yeah, it looks great. Can we live here now? Can we move here? <laughs> as long as there's no Axis cult members here. Yes, it's it's amazing. But it doesn't involve goblins, so Yeah, so where are they exactly? Um Archbishop. So I guess I guess the person we're meeting is the scale woman, possibly. <laughs> Someone's a bit nervous. Understandable. Yep, that's her. She's a priestess, so it's understandable that she would have a bit more expectations here. Definitely sounds impressive. Very much a big deal. But is she pretty? That's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, man. Uh, he doesn't cure these in front of somebody so important and amazing. And a, you know, very sexy elf back there. Don't forget to mention her. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's just a delivery at the line, man. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, that 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 would suck. <laughs> yeah, these are important questions. Wow, that does sound pretty bad. Small shadowy figure would probably be a goblin. <laughs> yeah. You've called the right man if it makes you feel any better.
I don't know, caves, tunnels. Yeah, so probably like tunneled in. <laughs> yes, as we've learned. Yes. Underneath that helmet, he's plot twist a goblin. I mean, if it was shorter, I might believe that, but. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did not end well. <laughs> yes, we did hear that a while ago. Yeah, I think uh, High Elf Archer even heard about that. Like, the scene where you first saw her in. <laughs> wow. Yes. Respect the bards. <laughs> yes. Also, the more goblins will fear you coming for them. Probably not. That depends. What's in it for me? <laughs> yeah, I can promise you that much. <laughs> it's like you guys don't understand his personality or something. <laughs> of course, if I was a goblin sayer, I know what I would ask for as payment from her. Yeah, you and your stupid rules. Never let me have any fun. Yeah, most people don't take goblins all that seriously, unfortunately. Is why we need you. Yeah, where are their priorities? <laughs> yes, well said. <laughs> I know. She's just in awe of your, your dedication. Uh, sewers. Well, <laughs> time to get to work. <laughs> yes, the goblins aren't going to get any debtor. Until we get there, of course. Uh, yes. What? I mean, it can't be any more frightening than our first day on the job. Yes, ever since, ever since the Goblin Slayer ended her life, she hasn't really had anything too bad happen to her. I never saw one she got shot with an arrow. And, you know, watch all her friends get slaughtered in front of her, but, well, I guess friends is a strong word. Aqu adventuring acquaintances. But since then, yeah, nothing too bad has happened. To her, at least. <laughs> Good job, team. <laughs> Just... And if I had no better, I'd say they were, they've been a team for years. <laughs> I know, is this a birthday? <laughs> of course. Well, of course, the goblin made. <laughs> well, I know how many they're going to be when we're gone. Zero. That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sneaky goblins. <laughs> Good times. I mean, this is Watertown. 
or I guess it's raining. If you have a leaky ground, I guess. I mean, make it hard to have the torches lit. Well, there you go. <laughs> I love the twitching ears. So tense. A boat? What? <laughs> they were serious to ride in a boat. <laughs> I didn't think I would see something like that. <laughs> we have goblin pirates now. Uh, okay. Are we prepared for this? Always use protection, especially when dealing with goblins. Yeah, what do we do here? Uh. <laughs> well, yes, but... It's a bit harder to kill them without a boat. Underground, no less. An underground boat. That's what I want to hear. I mean, it's a small price to pay if we end up killing the goblins. <laughs> uh, we try to follow the rules. Yeah, I was about to say, that might be a bit too convenient if he just always has those when he needs them. Yes, <laughs> please don't. And, yeah, her protection broke. Here we go. Have a snack. Goblins crying as if they have emotions. But it's just a physical reaction. There we go. That was cool. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That's an effective tail whip. <laughs> A super effective tail whip, you might say. Oh, <laughs> nice. Of course. <laughs> as long as it kills them, it's fine. Uh, don't get hit by that. Man, protection for one arrow. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Man, it's always great to see Goblin Slayer in his element like this. Oh, wow. That's bringing that ship down. <laughs> bye bye, Goblins. no rest for us. There's always goblins that need slain. Uh. Oh. Is that a dragon? <laughs> no, man. I don't, don't think that was a goblin. And chump. Is that a giant... Is that a giant alligator? Crocodile, one of the two. Which is a strip, yeah, swamp dragon. Or both, I don't know. You guys are confusing me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, tell your cousin to stop chasing us, dragon.
Of course, no true dragon would be so violent. Yeah, that would be inconvenient. Oh, <laughs> that's messed up. I kind of like that dwarf. Let's not do that. Although if you had to choose somebody, yeah, I would choose him. Oh, well, him or the dragon. The lizard guy. I'm not sure which one I would choose. Hopefully we don't have to choose. <laughs> yeah, they're still around. He looks so menacing for how small they are. <laughs> oh, uh, hello guys, I want to play. Why didn't you invite me? <laughs> that, I guess that's some karma there. <laughs> that explains why it glue, it glowed. Whichever is a proper grammar, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you guys limited me so much. Oh god. Uh. But yeah, adventurers generally bring light with them into dark caves and stuff. And this are really low budget. Or is that going to be our catchphrase? Yeah, they did use those boats. When it comes to goblins, yes. And I'm getting deja vu, I swear. Yeah. That's a bit of a scary thought. Who would help goblins? Hitler? Yeah, the Swamp Dragon. Yeah, that's... That was, that's a bit weird. <laughs> Something doesn't seem right. Huh. <laughs> uh, that thing, perhaps? Is that what you're implying? <laughs> and end with a dice roll. Okay, yeah, I think we met our goblin slaying quota this episode. Which we did not last episode, so I'm glad that we did. I mean, yeah, that was a pretty good episode. It's nice that we get to go to a cool new town, Watertown. Very aptly named, as most of the characters in the show are. You know, very fitting names. And we got the full gang, you know, coming along. <coughs> Which is great, because they worked as a team fairly well. Except the ED is like just entirely him alone, so who knows how long that will last for. Running around his unlimited blade works. And the moon, where the goblins come from. Onward unto death. Very happy sounding title. So, that was the sixth episode of Goblin Slayer. And this episode, we actually kind of start out with a different adventuring party over there. You know, something a bit more standard face off against an enemy that's not 
not goblins, which I know that sounds weird, but there are other enemies out there, but, you know, that's for other people to deal with, which does include this these people here. The girl who's not very good at sneak attacks, she just kind of runs up there, announces her presence, and attacks, because I guess she's strong enough to do so. Because she just kind of interrupted this, uh, you know, it's, what's the word for it? Uh... Uh, Lich, yeah, I think Lich, you know, this undead guy, he, uh, you know, clearly captured this girl, and they were trying to help her out to rescue her, and they, they did so. You know, quite a, quite a powerful attack, they just, they did it, like, just everywhere. But, you know, then we transition back to Goblin Slayer, he's like, okay, what does any of this have to do with goblins, because I don't see what this has to do with goblins. You know, because that's always been kind of the running joke of the show, which I've definitely embraced, is just... You know, no matter how important something else is that's going on, because there's always important things going on, things that are do not revolve around goblins, but because that's not what our protagonist cares about, it's never the focus. It's just brought up once in a while as a quick gag, like, hey, goblins there, you know this thing with the demon lord and the army and stuff like that? You want to help us with that? Uh, <laughs> no, that, where are the goblins there? Don't be ridiculous. You know, I, I do enjoy that running joke throughout the show. But yeah, he did get a mission to kill goblins, so that's what he did this episode. And he's like, hey guys, you want to go kill goblins with me? You know, he's like, oh, well, the only choice we really have is to go with you and kill goblins and not go with you, right? So let's just, let's just go with you then. Okay, guys, sounds like a plan. Oh, but you can't use, you know, waterboarding or fire or just any of these things to down to, to, to the goblins, okay? But just, but, uh, fine, okay. And yeah, he, he made an effort to, to follow through with that, I guess. I don't know why it matters how you kill the goblins, but apparently, apparently it does. But yeah, they're definitely getting better as a as an adventuring party together. You can definitely see some influence from Goblin Slayer, especially with the High Elf Archer and as with Priestess as well. You can see some influence there with both those people because they're both like the most newbie of them. Because the Priestess, the very first episode was her very first day of adventuring. So, you know, and the High Elf Archer stayed like in the woods for hundreds of years or whatever and finally came out. So those are the two most impressionable. So that might be why I'm starting, I'm, I can see a bigger impact that Goblin Slayer has had on them. Uh, and they're both in love with them, so I guess that probably has something to do with it as well. But the point is, I can definitely see some, see some of that there. And they made their way to Watertown, and we got to actually meet this legendary, you know, uh, this legendary person. I can't remember what they called it, like the Archbishop, uh... What was what was her nickname? I, I don't remember exactly, but she has, like, she's the scale one, the scale sword. And she's apparently blind, which, you know, I think I read that before watching this episode. So I guess I was kind of spoiled on that, but it's not like it's a big deal either way. But yeah, she definitely has a bit of a presence to her, I would say. And just, <laughs> I love, you know, just... He, Goblin Slayer is very blunt, you know, he's like, okay, so, well, I heard there was goblins that need, need slaying, can you please elaborate on that for me? So, that's pretty much what he went there for, he wanted the detail, the goblin-related details right away, and the, and the priestess, who has much more respect for this person, because she's a priestess, she's kind of in that same vein, <laughs> she's like, N no, just uh, have a little tact, man, let's just, let's get the full story, you know, let her, let's, let's, let's let her talk, and if we have any questions afterwards, we can ask them, you know, trying to, ha trying to handle it a bit more, uh, a bit better just in general but yeah the explanation was given they're apparently having a goblin problem like they come out of the sewers because we were at first confused where they even came from because you know a few sneaking through like that wouldn't explain the the amount of attacks and stuff so obviously they were multiplying unnaturally as we found out uh you know nearby in the sewers and they were also taught to use boats because you know <laughs> i guess that's what they need to do which i mean you kind of have to do that if you're gonna attack in a water town i suppose but just the point is we went down there to take them out and we did just that. We just killed goblins left and right. And the, the, the real fighting began once we actually got to the goblins on the boats. Because I was not expecting that at all. Just watching goblins riding on boats like it's the most natural thing in the world. Just full on pirates. Pirate goblins. Just that was really funny. But that's where the real epic fighting began. We got our protection put up. We had some strategy. And we summoned some more stuff and attacked and just even jumped on the boats and just started attacking them. It was great. And I always love when he just throws his sword at them in their head. Just, just great. And High Elf Archer kind of taking issue with the, the low quality arrows of the goblins. It's like, I, I get your strategy of, you know, using the goblins own weapons against them, but they just, they suck so much. Do I have to use these? You know, that kind of attitude. But yeah, goblins are not very smart. They're not complete morons, but they're not smart either. You know, I'm kind of paraphrasing, but that's what the Goblin Slayer says a lot. Basically, the logic behind that is don't expect them to, you know, 
heavily strategize against you, but also don't expect them to not be able to learn from basic mistakes. Like the the, the idea of that quote, I think, is to just let you know to, to keep that balance. Don't overestimate them and don't underestimate them. I think that's the real meat of that quote. And that's just how I took it. That's why he keeps saying it because you need to be in the right mindset to fight the goblins, which is a mistake a lot of people make. Like episode one, those arrogant, cocky adventurers, you know, because they're like, hey, I graduated top of my class. I'm amazing. But even though I have zero experience, that, that doesn't matter because I'm really, I was a great student. Like, you know, that arrogance can really get you killed. But also, you don't want to overestimate them either because if you try to mind game them, you could screw yourself over too. But I've kind of been talking about that too much. I'll move on to the next thing now. Uh, we had something called the Sewer Dragon, or Swamp Dragon, whatever it was called. An interesting thing there was the fact that the goblins didn't know about that, which is weird because the goblins live down there, so just there's something not right there. And implying that somebody's behind this unnatural uh, just spawning of goblins and stuff, so basically we need to deal with the, the root of that problem is kind of the 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 implication we have, we let it off with there is they're hiding somewhere and we need to we need to take them out so hopefully we do but yeah the idea of having its tail lit up so it would just like be reminiscent of adventures that was an interesting strategy because that makes sense i mean every time an adventurer would go into your cave generally they would bring a light source so i can actually kind of understand them starting to associate you know a light with adventures that totally makes sense that's the kind of thing i would expect somebody with a child level of intelligence to to figure out so definitely definitely a good strategy there and just people in general could learn a lot more about goblin killing from goblin slayer and the, but there's just a lot of these little points that it keeps reminding me of, reminding the audience of the fact that goblins are not taken that seriously by the military, so only really adventurers can kill them. And because the rewards are not really all that great, generally people that aren't quite qualified to do it to do it a lot of the times, which means a lot of casualties. So just goblins are the menace is just what it comes down to. What it comes down to really, uh, the sword maiden. Maybe, maybe that's what the, what that woman was called. But I do want to see more of her as well. She seems like a very Interesting character. I hope this isn't the only real time we get to see her. I don't think she'll join the party or anything, but I would like to see a bit more of her. I don't know, just she seems like a really cool character. Very, a, a very cool character, I would say. And, and poor dwarf, man. The High Elf Arch just immediately said, hey, let's feed the dwarf to the Swamp Dragon. It'll be great. Like, what? Did, no, don't do that. I mean, if we have to, you know, sacrifice somebody, it would either be him or the Lizard Man. Uh, and also the jokes about the Swan Dragon being related to Lizard Man because, you know, he's like descended from dragons or whatever. Just That was also kind of funny. It's like, you know, to, to tell your cousin to leave us alone. We literally did nothing wrong to him. But yeah, that's why you don't go into the sewers. You, you might meet, meet a Swamp Dragon and nobody wants to nobody wants to meet a Swamp Dragon. But yeah, also kind of implying that the Priestess is very much getting used to adventuring with the Goblin Slayer, which is definitely true. Because that's like, you know, she only really went on one adventure like without him, and that went horribly, and then from then on, as far as we know, the only adventure she's went on has been with him, so, you know, makes sense. A lot of that makes sense. I just still love her scale sword. That just looks really cool. I don't know how, I don't know how practical it is, but it definitely looks cool. And that's, at the end of the day, what matters most. And yeah, just, it's great to see if goblins die, as usual. But yeah, really great episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Just... Judging by the pattern, maybe next episode we won't get as much Goblin Slain. <laughs> Just that seems to be kind of the pattern, you know. Goblin Slain adventure is a little bit of laid back, slice of life ish stuff, or, or focusing on a different adventure, then back to Goblin Slain. That's almost kind of been a pattern uh, for the most part, so that's what I want to, that's what I'm kind of expecting at this point. But there's clearly more goblins than you killing here, so maybe not. I guess we'll see next episode. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.